Today's Ask Me Anything goes out to Eric Cantona, who says, what do you think about to pick the weakest puppy? What is your opinion or your experience? I'm called with the Omega, greets and keep going. Thanks, Eric. Um, well, the weakest puppy sometimes will be the runt of the litter and stuff like that. I don't think, sometimes they're not the healthiest of the puppies in the litter, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it's gonna s depend really on what that dog's, or the puppy's relationship is with you. Is that dog bonding with you better than the alpha of the litter, better than the, the, the dog somewhere in the middle? That's the important thing. The way the puppy bonds with you, the way the dog sees you, and the way you relate to that puppy, that interaction, which you can tell early on because there is that, that kind of instantaneous connection, is going to be much, much more important than whether the dog is the alpha or the omega or the strongest or the weakest or the biggest or the smallest or male or female. It depends on the relationship, just like I hope you pick your mate in life like that. Not just the most beautiful girl. I mean, some of us get that option, but not everybody does. Pick somebody that you love, or now we're going back, back and forth between dogs and people, but pick a dog that you connect with. Pick a dog that you're gonna have fun training with. Pick a dog that engages to you. Walk away from the dog if the dog follows you around. That might be a better dog for you. So, do I care if the dog is the alpha or the omega? No, I'm gonna pick a dog that I bond with, that I connect with, and that I think is gonna be a, a symbiotic relationship um, in training. Got a question? Ask me anything.